There was an article published by Abigail Schreier in October 2022 in which you were quoted as saying regarding children in the early stages of puberty being put on puberty blockers, I'm not a fan. But to be fair, you penned a really eloquent article for the New York Times a year and a half later titled What Decades of Providing Trans Healthcare Have Taught Me, in which you highlight the fact that one, puberty blockers have been used since the 1980s, they've been approved by the FDA, they buy time for gender diverse individuals to gain clarity with their gender, and that side effects from puberty blockers are fully reversible if taken within certain windows. Can you explain yeah. the disparity maybe between what you were perceived to have stated in the Abigail Schreier article and what you wrote about in the New York Times article? It's basically fear and doubt is, yeah. is expressed over the course of an entire book. My observations, and again, I, I, I still have to apologize to the community because I, but I don't consider Abigail Schreier a bad person. I 